You already know I'm gonna have to talk about that little Nas X shit, man. I made a video about it with actual points that I wanted to make in there, but you know, copyright issues. But I wanna tell y'all this, man. This is a fucking joke. Lil Nas X, we don't support you, bro. You can already see that. Secondly, like what they put up in there, bro, they was dissing our fucking ancestors. They was dissing our fucking culture. They were dissing people, religions, bro. And what I'm saying is, this is a war, bro. And um, yeah, these people are not going to fucking make it. Like, I'm kind of shocked right now because obviously they're fucking losing. So, like, how did they just come up? How do they have the audacity to just put this? Like, they fucking winning. Like, they just comfortable, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's somebody else's culture. That's Greek and Roman culture. They put that on us. In the ancient wars, this is what happens, bro. When you win wars, you can tell history how you want. You can control how you want the world to be ran. The Egyptians, bro. Even other people who lived in Africa on that continent. You know what I'm saying? Like, they didn't approve with this fucking culture in the way that the Europeans were living. You know what I'm saying? Like, same sex, like the Europeans, like from the Greeks and the Romans. They did not approve of that. That was an abomination. So now, since, you know what I'm saying, you understand we went through slavery. And we have to go through slavery just so that they could get to our fucking insides. And when you get to the insides, all this shit is okay that you can accept. You see what I'm saying? And these are their, their agendas, bro. These are patient fucking people, bro. And, like, it's not a physical war. It's a spiritual war, man. And, like... I'm actually making this video just jumping up, bro. I was not prepared at all, obviously. Um, I just, I just can't go silent on this, bro. Like it, it's just like, it just makes, bro. If you woke out here and you seen some shit like that, bro, you can't be quiet over that like that, bro. Like, I'm just saying, man. Like, things just gotta change. That's how I feel, man. Like, they only got a little bit of time, honestly. Truthfully speaking. Like, the age of Aquarius is here. These niggas trying to go to Mars fucking 2025, bro. That's four years from now. Like, literally three and a half, if you think about it. So, I mean, like, yeah, man. It's just, they had the audacity to put that shit, bro. They had the pyramids upside down and everything, bro. Like, like that's just really crazy to me, man. And then, like, you kissing another man, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all, that's Greek and Roman uh, religion, bro. Like, not religion, but uh, their culture, like. The Romans, they like to, they slept with the, they slept with the men. So when they went to war with each other, that's why the movie 300, y'all didn't see other, other women besides one. You know what I'm saying? They slept with the, with each other. So when they went to war, they can fight harder for the men. The Romans, the Greeks, they fucking chase their women off the fucking land. And you have Lesbo Island, you know, this is where you get your Xenas and Wonder Womans and fucking who else, man? Um, there's another one, uh, that I'm not mentioning right now but that's what that's my whole point is bro like they rather be with men and pedophilia and then a small portion of them actually love their women so when you look at this shit today bro this is a huge influence from these specific cultures so but yeah i'm just kind of like fed up with this shit bro like they only got a little bit of time and we know this man time is running out the clock already started so fuck them